Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today's video is going to consist of your basics, uh, basics, and get into into bass fishing. Um, for a lot of anglers and a lot of people that just don't know anything about bass fishing, like myself, at one point in time, just didn't think I'm like, really, a fish is going to eat a plastic worm, you know that type of thing. So, what I want to get into is your basics on bass fishing, the beginner stage, where I started from, and where a lot of new anglers can start from. So this video is for people that may or may not know about Texas rigs. So get into it. Uh, my style of choice for my first option for weights will be a, a bullet weight. <clears throat> That's the beginning stage. You wanna start with a bullet weight. Now this is a 3 8 ounce Wu tungsten bullet weight. You don't have to go at Tungsten. You can start out in the cheaper route, you know, go to Walmart or, or different stores, or Dick's Sporting Goods, or even order some off of Bass Pro or Tackle Warehouse and get your, your lead weights. Let me show you one of those. And this here is a lead weight versus your Tungsten. And these Tungstens are pretty good. They're, they actually come smaller and they're just, they're just so dense and they just, they don't chip at all. And so you get a lot of feel. You can feel a lot of bites with this Tungsten weight. A lot of different companies out that you can get tungsten from, but I, I really prefer root tungsten. So starting off with your Texas rig, you want to go your main line here. Oh, excuse me. Get your main line. And you want to feed that main line into the head, the top of that bullet weight, like so. And this is what you end up with. Okay. Next up, you want to get your worm hook. You know, saying you're fishing just you know regular size, uh, zoom or light size like finesse worms. You go through the eyelet of their hook, and this is the hook that I prefer, which is trapper tackle. This is an offset worm hook, a four hour size. You go in, and guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you the your standard way of tying a clinch knot. The way I tie my clinch knots is, and this is gonna be on, this is actually monofilament line, what I like to use for uh, clinch knots. This is how I actually started out bass fishing. So, take your tag in, across the main line here. I like to wrap my finger around a couple times and get some leverage. And you wanna go seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there you go. What you do want to do is take that tag in and where you've created a loop, go through your tag in like so and back through the other loop that you just created. And once you do that, you want to Come here, and this is what you end up with. You want to make sure you wet that line to ensure that it doesn't break when you set the hook on a nice size fish or any fish, rather. I like to take that tag in, put it in my mouth like so, and cinch it on down. And that's your standard clinch knot. Go ahead and trim off that tag in. You don't have to trim it all the way down to the end. I mean, I like to give a little bit of space on there. You can see that knot, that knot's not going anywhere. And what you end up with in the end, if I can get this weight, is your Texas rig. Hope you guys can see that. And that's your standard Texas rig. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put a soft plastic on it. And now, given the fact that I'm using a four uh trapper tackle hook, and trapper tackle hooks are hooks that I like to use over the years. Uh, I used to use just regular EWG Gamagatsis. Don't get me wrong, they're great hooks, but there's something about these trapper tackles. These fish they do not come undone. They don't come off. 
honestly I've only maybe lost maybe one or two at the most and that's the most maybe so you got your your hook here and the flat side here of your worm and this is a zoom uh, black trick worm black and purple take that flat side go through the head like so and once you get it to that bend that's where you want to come on out of it like so come down and once you get to the actual bend here of the hook close to the olive you want to rotate that like so as you see the tagging you had is actually going to bury it inside that plastic so it's really not going to come undone it doesn't really affect the fishing at all so now that you have your worm in there somewhat so far almost done you want to kind of measure and see exactly where that hook is going to come out and as you can see we want to start right about in this area take that bend it come out like so hope I'm not too close to the camera but just want to give you guys a good idea how it's supposed to look and you text pose it and there you have it that is your standard Texas rig and once that fish comes up and bites on it what's going to happen is that hook's going to undo itself it's going to come on text pose and then that's when you set the hook on go here give you guys another good look at that Texas rig perfect setup right there for your basic beginner Texas rig and another option for this bass fishing is this is this is something you can use in actually you know kind of that mid-level to shallow uh, water when you want to fish deeper uh, in deeper water where those bigger fish may may be where they usually are you can go with a heavier uh, lead weight or tungsten tungsten is what I prefer and you can actually go with either a half ounce a half ounce here or you can go a little bit bigger <clears throat> no just one ounce and this is a half ounce which you can obviously see is a whole lot bigger than that three eighths half ounce and then you want to take a bigger thicker hook thicker wire hook with a bigger worm and this is a 10 inch worm and this is something I like to fish in the summertime when it's really hard to catch those bass you know just in deeper water those bigger plastic bigger worms, bigger worms can get an actual big bite and you just want to drag it across the bottom nice and slow to get that big bite same thing with this hook just a different size this is a five out same thing bend it out find your spot where it's going to be like so and you text pose it and there you go 10 inch worm big hooks big weights big worms get your big fish and also these smaller ones they do they do the same thing they catch big fish as well um, and also you can you can do the same thing with uh, crawls and creature baits as well so that's one option that's the beginning basis of Texas rigging that's what Texas rig the whole the, this whole thing right here that's a Texas rig with or without the weight you can Texas rig also with a, a stick bait and fish it weightless this is one of my favorite ways to catch them in the springtime in the summertime right from the cover and grass and stuff you just let it actually float on down nice and easy and I'll show you that on these uh, Bass Pro Shop stickos this worm off here so you got your Bass Pro Shop stick up and the green pumpkin this is that, that thinner wire uh, trap or tackle hook it's the same exact thing guys nothing different just a different worm and on this you can actually fish it with a weight me I prefer to fish it with that one because that fall rate you don't want to put a bigger hook on this one because this, this smaller hook is 
the thinner wire hook is going to give it a perfect fall rate once it's flipped down. And a lot of times you're going to get that bite on the, on the way down. Same exact setup. Nice and straight there. And that's pretty much it guys. You know your basics as far as your, your first beginner's uh, Texas rigger. And what I like to do is on the thinner, thinner wire hooks, I like to throw on about 15 to 17. For me, I like using bait caps. But when I first started out, I was using uh, spinner gear. I was throwing like eight pound monofilament and I was getting it done. But then once I started learning more and more throughout the years, kind of upgraded, started using bait casters and heavy line, using fluorocarbon and bigger weights and weightless. Actually, can, you can throw that, they weight this stick or Senko baits, sticks, stick baits on fluorocarbon, like 15 to 17 pounds, which is what I like to do. So, guys, just wanna kinda go over some bases with you for you guys do for beginner, beginner fishermen out there that really don't know anything about bass fishing, which is a lot of people out there, all ages. I just like sharing my knowledge and teaching. So guys, uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna try to do this like a couple of times a month, kinda give some, some insight, some knowledge on some of my bass fishing experiences and some techniques. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you on the next episode. Peace.